well today i am going to show you two important signs which will be of immense help when you are doing your clinical practice and first of the sign is in this child who is a 10 years old a 9 years old child a case of a duchen muscular dystrophy the, this is a child who came to me only yesterday in the hospital and this child has got a typical gower sign let me demonstrate that beta isko bitha do the because of the proximal muscle involvement you people all must be knowing that this is a sign which you would have seen during your practice or during course of training that the child rises on his own beta uth ke dikhao see the focus it on see this is how this is how this is a child this is called a gower sign right now ek ek minute beta khada to ho jao idhar iski full hypertrophy focus karo now this is a pseudo hypertrophy is being seen see this isko to ye ye dekhiye this is a pseudo hypertrophy now i want to show the not only this this you would have seen many i want to show you a sign which i said at the outset which is called a valley sign now in a valley sign beta isko aisa seedha karo shabash aise karo aise haath karo now what is happening is see this sign this is a sign called valley sign valley sign is seen here this this is a valley in the axillary line posterior axillary line you see this is because of the hypertrophy of the infraspinatus and the hypertrophy of the deltoid so what is happening is see this see this is a valley now this see the this is a very hypertrophic infraspinatus seedha karo beta aise haath rakho aur ye iska deltoid hai so when you have a hypertrophy of the deltoid as well as of this infraspinatus you find a kind of a valley there is a atrophy here so this is this is where axilla you see this is a valley here you find a valley so this is called a valley sign the importance of the valley sign is that in this child like this child has said duchenne muscular dystrophy the cpk of this value is of this child is about 2000 or so the child of course now in this child of course pseudo hypertrophy is there but the importance of valley sign is that if you have a, this can appear much earlier than the appearance of the hypertrophy of the calf so if you have because what happens is pseudo hypertrophy occurs only because of the fibrosis it's a it's a misnomer so hypertrophy is there but it is a pseudo hypertrophy so the muscles they get fibrosed and then you see a fiber the hypertrophic muscles at the calf but before that you will appreciate if you like i show you showed you this sign the child has got a kind of a valley a child may come to us at any age and if the cpk is increased there may be a family history then it's an x-linked disease and if the cpk is increased and there is no pseudo hypertrophy but you find a valley sign then a properly a timely management can be started much earlier to reduce the progression of the disease so that's what important so you have one sign which is called as a valley sign that's all now i am showing you another important sign which is called as a million year sign basically this as a as a name say if this was coined by a dermatologist and here what is happening is it is trying to differentiate between erysipelas and cellulitis what is happening is that in the ear you have the you don't have a subcutaneous tissue you have the dermis and you have the epidermis so if the bacterial infection has occurred and supposing there is an infection in the ear you will see in this photograph that the infection is there at by the in the by the side of the neck below the auricle now this infection if this infection spreads to the pinna that means this infection is subcuticular it is a superficial infection in this superficial infection as i said the soft tissue is not there in the pinna so the infection from the skin can go into the over to the external ear that means it is a superficial tissue a superficial infection and that is called erysipelas and when what is happen what happens in the cellulitis is the you have the infection of the subcutaneous tissue so it's a deep seated infection 
and in the deep seated infection it will cross like in this photograph also this child has got redness below the and the redness below the auricle and then redness is going towards the neck submandibular area it's not going towards the ears that means it is cellulite so that is what to differentiate between this that the name suggests is the million year sign and the earlier uh, video which i showed the uh, the sign which i said belly sign the other name to it i forgot is also called as a pradhan sign so you have a belly sign or a pradhan sign right so these are the, this is an important sign between erysipelas and cellulite right thank you explain to you a very uh, sign which is called a puddle sign people would not you know read it in uh, books but nobody has tried to do it because most of the time you have a fluid in the abdomen which is most of the time is not shifting to but here it's surprising in this child the fluid is not that enough that it is giving us a shifting dullness but it is giving us a fluid when i put it in the reach as position and i will try to do a sign the, there is dullness at the level of the umbilicus let me just tell you this is a child of a this is a nephrotic syndrome child came to us for 5 days of facial puffiness and when the child came to us let go when the child came to us the child has got facial puffiness which you can see the child has got a uh, pretty edema also see child has got pretty edema dab raha hai yes so by naturally pretty edema hai now let's come closer see this इस बच्चे की जो आप देख रहे हैं इज़ स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ़ दी दिस लुक्स लाइक नाउ लेट्स मी जस्ट सी दी शिफ्टिंग डलनेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल इन दी शिफ्टिंग डलनेस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए बर्ड सी नाउ यहां से मैं इधर क्यों जाता हूं कि मैं देखना होता है कि मुझे ब्लैडर तो फुल नहीं है यही करते हैं तो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू द साइड नोट है आवाज आ रही है आ रही है नोट है इतनी दूर से आवाज आ रही है इसका मतलब देर इज नो फ्लूड इन द्लैंड सो दैट मीन देर इज नो फ्लूड नो इन दिस चाइल्ड देर इज नो फ्लूड इन दिन एज पर दिफ्टिंग बट देर इज स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ दाइक नो आई हैव टू स्टिल फाइंड आउट फ्लूड इज स्टिल देर देर इज स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ दाइक नो आई मेक हर Sit in the niche position. Now, this is a sign. अब आपको ना यहाँ रखना होता है. और पीछे के लिए थोड़ा पैर. क्या बात? आप देखो ये अम्लाइकस है. ये मैंने दबाया. ये देखो. आवाज आएगी. ये देखो. आप फील कर सकते हो आइए. ये देखो डाल. आवाज आ रही है? इसका मतलब रेजिडेंट फ्लूड नहीं है अगर शिफ्टिंग डिलनेस होती तो फ्लूड यहाँ होता फिर वो आप इधर टर्न करते तो फिर वो इधर फ्लूड आ जाता लेकिन इस बच्चे में ये था कि आई वांटेड टू शो यू दैट दिस इज फॉर अ पर्सनल साइन जैसे आप जो फ्लूड है वो अप्लाइकस के नीचे आ जाता है और वो आपको मिलता है तो दिस इज नॉट वेरी कॉमनली सीन टूडे वी वॉन्टेड टू फोकस ऑन दिस साइन